Let's break down two adaptations of the Hannibal dresses from The Phantom of the Opera, the UK Broadway adaptation, the original. I have one word to say, gorgeous. The corset or the stay, it's gorgeously embedded with green and red and gold. It's stunning. And some people do say that it does look like a Christmas ornament. I don't want to say anything because of what if one day I'm involved in the show and I personally don't mind it because you have to understand costumes on stage have to stand out. The audience up front has a perfect view. Even from far away, you can tell who it is. So audiences who are way up on the balcony, it pops. It really does stand out on its own. The 2004 Hannibal slave dress. Um, let's talk about it. But before we do that, can I talk about what I do love before we talk about the negative of this ensemble? Okay, one, Corlata's headpiece. I love it. And second, I don't know who was in charge of the costume designs, but the color palette, I love it. Okay, think about it. The red, the gold, and blue. The blue, it just works well. It complements. It works so much better than the green. Can you imagine if the green was on film? It would have blended in with the rest of the film. The green just works best on stage. However, here comes the negativity. Y'all ain't ready. I hate the crop top on these ballerinas. What is happening? They could have gone with a corset or a stay or better yet, just make the crop top a lot lower that way it's not so high up side note i do believe that this outfit is kind of inappropriate for that time area for the opera is what i mean i'm not gonna lie i do love the collar piece the golden embroidered details and the headpiece love it but the blue and the red kind of helps with their outfit to stand out just a little. But you have to understand, Corlata is the diva, the prima donna. She has to stand out the most. Listen to what Corlata says next. It's very important. Elisa in Act 3 of Hannibal. Perhaps the Signora... Yes, 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 Mano. Because I have not my costume for Act 3. Because somebody not finish it. Her costume is not finished. Now you have to understand, when she quits and Christine steps into this role, there's no extra costume. There's no understudy for Colotta. They got the one and that's it. And you're probably thinking, why can't they just adjust the costume or finish the dress from Act 3? Y'all, costumes back then took forever to finish, prepare, blood, sweat, and tears. So they had to do what they gotta do and grab whatever is on the rack. And you know what? I'm totally fine with it. You gotta understand this is the night of the performance. Last rehearsal. It's all or nothing. And don't be hating. The dress is perfect. Overall, I can understand the changes for the 2004 film. It makes sense perfectly, but in the end, as much as I actually like the 2004 costumes for this scene of Think of Me, for the wind.